Hello and welcome, my name is William and today we're having a look at how to root a tree. This is one of those very basic fundamental transformations that's handy to have in your toolkit in case you want to or need to work with a rooted tree. The motivation for rooting a tree is that often it can help to add structure and simplify the problem you're trying to solve. Rooting a tree enables you to easily perform recursive algorithms. It also transforms the tree to have directed edges instead of undirected edges, which are generally a lot easier to work with. Conceptually, rooting a tree is like picking up a tree by a specific node and having all the edges point downwards. You can root a tree using any of its nodes. However, be cautious because not every node you select will result in a well-balanced tree. And if that's your objective, you may need to be a little bit more selective. In some situations, it's also useful to have a reference to the parent node in order to be able to walk up the tree. I illustrated parent node pointers as dotted lines on this slide. Let's have a look at an example of how to root a tree. One of the best ways to do this is with a depth for search through the original tree and to create the rooted tree during the traversal. The algorithm starts on the designated root node. The new rooted tree is being displayed on the right. From the root node, begin the depth for search and add nodes to the rooted tree as the algorithm proceeds. I will let the animation play and it should be clear what's going on. And that's rooting a tree in a nutshell. Let's have a look at some pseudocode for this. On this slide, I define a tree node object, which we will use to store one of the nodes of our tree. Each node has a unique integer ID to identify the node, as well as a reference to its parent pointer. This member is generally optional, but I thought to include it for completeness, Take note that every node will have a parent pointer except for the root node whose parent pointer will be null. Additionally, each node also has a list of all its child nodes. Here's the algorithm to root a tree. It's relatively short and sweet. The input to the root tree function takes a graph G as input, which is the tree we want to root. The other input is the ID of the designated root node. By default, this is node 0, but it can be any other node. The first line of the root tree method creates the root tree node object with the ID root ID, a parent reference of null, and no child nodes. Then I call the build tree method to start the depth first search reversal to root the tree. As input parameters, I pass in the graph G the root node as the current node, and the root's parent, which is null. The build tree method takes exactly the same parameters we just talked about. The graph, the current node, and the current node's parent node reference. Next, we enter a for loop that loops over all the neighbors of the current node, which in turn will become the children of the current node. Because edges are undirected in the original tree, we absolutely need to avoid the situation where we add a directed edge pointing back to the current node's parent. First, check that the parent is not null, so we don't get a null pointer exception when we're trying to access the parent's ID. Then check if the child ID is equal to the parent ID and skip this node if this is true. Otherwise, we're dealing with a proper child node, so create a new node and add the child tree node to the list of the current node's children. Afterwards, dig deeper depth first into the tree and do the same thing, but for the newly created child node. Once we've finished iterating over all the neighbors of this node, return the current node. And that's how you root a tree. All right, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something and subscribe for more mathematics and computer science videos.